This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. It's time for the old superhero media roundup. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. You can check out our audio podcast, How I Got More Free Comics, on iTunes or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. So there's a number of things going on in the superhero movie and TV space. So I thought we should cover them just in one one shot. One fell swoop. Yeah. The Flash movie has just lost its second director. Seth Graham Smith co-wrote the movie and was mm-hmm. attached originally to direct, but then demurred. Now dope director, that's the movie, he's in the dope. <laughs> yeah. Rick Fomagija has left over creative differences. Now, the movie's still in pre-production. Although they have <laughs> cast their flash. Right. You know, because... When a director leaves a project, this usually means the studio doesn't support their vision. Yeah. And the dr- translation of that is, A, the director and production are out of control. And at this point, it wouldn't necessarily be that. Because they're because not in production, production yet. yet. Or in B, the studio is deluging the director with notes that would ruin the movie. That would ruin at least their <laughs> vision, vision of, of the, the movie. movie. And it's pretty likely it's that B. Yeah. The Flash movie is already working at a disadvantage because it's going to inevitably be compared to the successful TV show. Yes, of course, that's <laughs> Earth 1, and, you know, the movie will be Earth uh, 2. Two th- Earth M uh, for movie, I don't know. <laughs> Of course, it's all moot if production doesn't start until after the Justice League movie comes out because w, the, the Warner Brothers, you know, will expect the Justice League movie to make a billion dollars the first weekend. And if it doesn't, they will cancel all the future movies. <laughs> yeah, you would expect that. And now so. apparently the actor playing Flash already has another commitment for another movie so now they're going to have to wait till after that other movie is done so the Flash movie gets pushed, pushed back. Maybe that's, in fact, what Warner Brothers wanted. Could well be. Meanwhile, the director of Deadpool, Tim Miller, has dropped out of the sequel over creative differences with the star, Ryan Reynolds. Out of control actor much? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ryan, stay with the guy I got you there. Yeah. <laughs> Also, the composer of the original Deadpool movie, Junkie XL, has dropped out in solidarity with Miller. Oh no, who will drop the beat? (laughs) Back in the DC universe, the Wonder Woman movie is looking better than ever based on the most recent trailer. There's Mm -hmm. kicking ass, there's swords, there's the lasso, there's bullets versus bracelets. They're pretty much checking all the boxes. Mm -hmm. And there's no danger of this being canceled. Since production is already complete, and it comes out before the Justice League movie yes. comes out. Mm-hmm. Despite mediocre reviews and what I thought was had a script to match, mm-hmm. Suicide Squad has made a lot of money for Warner Brothers. Mm-hmm. $324 million U.S. box office, $420 million internationally. And there has been a ton of merchandise. Absolutely. So, that's... And it hasn't made it to Blu-ray yet, Mm -hmm. as of this taping. So you can assume there's a Harley Quinn spinoff movie in 3, 2, 1. Now, I know Harley Quinn started (laughs) off as a kid's character. Yes. But it's really hard to equate that with the Harley Quinn in this movie. And I would be hard-pressed to let my kid dress up like a Harley Quinn anymore. And yet there were a lot of them for Halloween. Yes. (laughs) Meanwhile, the DC TV universe is going very strong. Reportedly making Warner Brother, Warner Brothers, one billion dollars in revenue this past year, because you've got so many shows. Yes. You've got Flash, you've got Arrow, Supergirl, Legends of Tomorrow, I Zombie, Gotham, Lucifer, Preacher, and Teen Titans Go, the animated series. Mm-hmm. Coming up, Powerless, which we've talked about before. Mm-hmm. It's the DC Universe sitcom, and Krypton, which is going to talk about the grandfather of Kal-El on Krypton. So it's kind of like Gotham, in a way. Yeah. It's the before. <laughs> I don't see that one doing no. much, but... And then, in development already, 
There's a Black Lightning TV series. There's a Static Shock live action series. And there's a Scalped, which Scalped is one of the Vertigo titles, mm-hmm. their, their imprint. Yeah, so that counts. Flash is the CW's top rated show, although it only got a 1.3 share in the 18 to 49 demo, but for CW, that's very good. Mm-hmm. And I think this is the show that best captures the classic DC Comics craziness. Yeah. If I had to pick out one of the shows to yeah, watch, it would, that be, would this be this one. one. Mm-hmm. Although it only really seems to work well when there's an ongoing villain and not so much the villain of the week. Mm. I mean, it start, in terms of the storyline moving forward. Yeah, yeah. You know, the, okay. otherwise it kind of seems a little disjointed from, from episode to episode. At least in my opinion. Supergirl, at least so far, hasn't seemed to have suffered much after moving from C- the CBS to the CW, as well as the move to Vancouver, except for the loss of Cat Grant, played by Callista Flockhart, who didn't want to move to Canada for the show. I, I am not liking it as well, just personally, but that's only me. Yeah, well, it's never been the best show to begin with. Mm-hmm. It's okay. And I think you're right. It's like aliens are taking over, and there's too many aliens. The whole alien nation thing they have yeah. going on, yeah. <laughs> basically. Uh-huh. Arrow continues to plug along, although I'm really getting tired of flashbacks. She's a spotlight helper. Yes. Uh, they've decided to add Talia Agul to the show, played by Lexa Doig, as Oliver continues to act as Batman yeah. Light. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Legends of Tomorrow still doesn't have a lead. Yes, it's an ensemble, I understand, but you need to have a lead yeah. still. Yeah, I think you do. So Rory, I'm oh, sorry, Rip Hunter was supposed to be that in season one, but now he's gone. And I'm sorry to see Rory, I mean Rip Hunter, go. Yeah. That's hard because there is actually a character named Rory. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like most time travel shows, changing the past has consequences, except when it doesn't. <laughs> All the CW shows suffer from the need for soapy elements. Yes. There's the whole will they or won't they, and it's like, oh, come on. <laughs> you know, you have that when you don't have something else to fall back on. I suppose. We will get another crossover among the main CW DC shows, Arrow, Flash, Supergirl, Legends, featuring old DC alien villains, the Dominators, in a plot that reportedly goes back to a late 80s comic book plotline mm-hmm. <laughs> called Invasion. Woo-hoo. Plus, some sort of musical episode is coming. Mm-hmm. Now, the leads for Supergirl and Flash were both on Glee, and three other cast members from the various shows are Broadway vets, so it kind of makes sense. Well, and um, the CW kind of has a history with that, too. Right. So. Even going back as far as the musical episode of Buffy. I suppose. Over in the Marvel TV universe, the Netflix shows are doing better, both in terms of reviews and viewer interest, than Agents of Mm S.H.I.E.L.D. on ABC. Which continues to walk this tightrope. Is it a secret agent show? Is it a superhero show? You go too far one way and nobody watches it. You go too far the other way and the show is too expensive to actually work financially. Mm -hmm. Leaving S.H.I.E.L.D. in this twilight zone where nobody's satisfied. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Ratings for the show are actually lower than Flash, which for an ABC show is really bad. If, you know, if Disney slash Marvel didn't own ABC, Mm -hmm. it would long since be gone, I think. Would... Marvel consider a cameo by a Netflix character on S.H.I.E.L.D. to bump up. Mm. And there's a lot of, you know, supposition going on about that. Would they consider that? I think it would only really help S.H.I.E.L.D. and it could hurt, say, Daredevil's street cred yeah. or any of the other characters yeah. to, to slum it on, on S.H.I.E.L.D. Well, they don't really fit too well. But it's all supposedly in the same universe. Yeah. <laughs> Now, maybe Foggy Nelson shop stops by S.H.I.E.L.D. HQ. Yeah, <laughs> you know, one of the side characters you can get away with. Mm-hmm. And we have no idea how well the Netflix shows are doing since Netflix refuses to provide any stats because they say, look, we don't care how many, you know... We don't sell commercials, so we don't care about the ratings yeah, necessarily. Yeah, we care about how many people subscribe to Netflix. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, where that's where they make their money. They don't care, as you said, about the advertising because there isn't any. So, you have to assume, though, they're at least paying for themselves. Well, if they weren't, <laughs> they wouldn't make any more. Right. 
and they are making further seasons of these. Yep. I am looking forward to finally seeing the Defenders. Yes, that's next year. Yeah. 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 That will be good. Right. Of course, we got to still catch up on. Well, we got to catch up on Daredevil. We the the second season. We still got um, Luke Cage. Luke Cage. We got to get through that season. Yeah. And by and the time then, we do that. Well, Iron Fist is going to be between there too, right? Right. And then maybe another season of Jessica Jones. Yes. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, and a Punisher <laughs> series as well. I think Netflix is the best shows for superheroes right now. Mm. I don't know. Maybe just because they're darker. And so I don't normally like dark. I don't know. Right. It'll be interesting to see how those DC movies do. We yeah. will be going to watch them. Yep. And you can too. Yep. Meanwhile, check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife to Read Comics on iTunes or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. In the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. Thanks for watching. I'm off to binge. <laughs> <laughs>